Hi everyone, this is Bridget. Welcome to my channel, Blissful Bridget. I am a teacher, a speaker, and a soulful coach helping people integrate spiritual practices and infuse them in their everyday life to really live a more fulfilling existence. And today I want to talk about how to feel better in this moment. After I got married last month, um, I went on my honeymoon and I came back and I could just tell that my energy felt off. I did not feel my high vibe self. I didn't want to do the practices. I didn't want to go to the gym. I wanted to sit inside and watch Downton Abbey. Now Downton Abbey is a great show, but it doesn't need me sitting inside watching it all day. So these are three really simple things that you can do now to shift how you're feeling, to just change your state. And the first is to really honor how you're feeling in this moment. So really take stock of where you are. You know, you can ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? Was it something I ate? Was it the people I was with? And you can just try to honor where you are. Remember that at the end of the day, every experience that we have is a lesson. Every experience is meant to happen. We are meant to be going through these waves of emotion because we are human. So honor the feeling honor where you are in this moment. If you are angry, okay, let yourself be angry. Feel the anger, feel it, honor it, and then know that wave will pass. If you're really upset or you're sad, honor that feeling, honor it. Because when we can honor that feeling, we can then make way to shift. So number one, honor where you are. Number two, you're going to think that feeling. Think how you feel in this moment. Pour the most gratitude into that moment of how you feel. So I was feeling super down. You know what, universe, I am so grateful for feeling this like this right now because I know that when I'm feeling awesome in maybe, you know, a couple hours or tomorrow or in a couple of days, I can look back on this experience and understand the polarity planet that we live on. We have yin, we have yang, we have active, we have passive, we have hot, we have cold. We experience it all as humans. So thank this moment. Thank that sadness for allowing you to have emotions. Thank the anger for knowing what it feels like in your body to kind of have this pent up anger and rage. Feel the feeling and then we can move on. Lastly, we're going to make the subtle shifts. Now, when you are feeling, you know, in a funk or not your best, it might not be instant and that's okay. It might take a couple hours. It might take a couple days. If you are going through a deep healing process, it might take a couple months, but do not let that dissuade you from starting now and doing something to make you feel better. Now, if you follow you know, my work and what I like to share, I have a whole bunch of spiritual practices that I love to tune into because I know when I do them, I am feeling in alignment with my highest self. I am in alignment with my truth. So a couple of them for me are going out in nature, you know, just spending time looking at this beautiful, beautiful planet that we get to live on, looking at the trees, looking at the sky, feeling the cool breeze on my face, smelling what it feels like to be outside. When you can tune in with your nature, you can instantly know who you really are because we're not too far away from that tree next to us. Another thing I like to do is use breath work. So do simple things. Take deep breaths in, count to five, and deep breaths out. Deep breath in. And out. And maybe you do that a few times. Maybe you move your body. When we move our physical body, we are not just working out the physical, we are working out the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual bodies. In Kundalini Yoga, which is a practice that is near and dear to my heart, I practice daily and get the opportunity to teach and share sometimes, there are 10 bodies. So there's not just one body. When you physically move your body, when you connect to your breath, you can feel a shift. And those are sometimes immediate. Other things, journal, write about how you're feeling. You might notice that when you're done journaling, you don't feel like that anymore. 
You might want to listen to your favorite song. You might want to go for a car ride. Be by yourself. Do something for yourself. So you can already see that there are so many options for you. And the most important thing is that this is your life. This is your practice. You have to figure out what works for you. So let's go through those three things again. We honor, we thank, and we shift. Honor, thank, and shift. And just like that, you can feel different. You can feel better now. An important thing I want to note here is we can't dwell in where we are. When we dwell for far too long, maybe we can start to feel depressed and really get dragged down by the emotions. But you are not your mind. You are infinite. You are whole in your totality. When you were born and brought into this world, you were perfect and you still are. So you just have to remember that. So again, honor, thank, shift. Thank you all so much. I hope you all have the most beautiful day. Satnam, namaste.